Well, our winter storm is getting closer and closer. We have a winter storm warning now that has been issued and will go into effect at 4 p.m. Thursday, lasting through 1 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. Blizzard warning in effect for the same time, but not expiring until 7 p.m. on Christmas Eve. So that is substantially longer than the winter storm warning. But my thinking here is that once the winter storm warning expires, we'll still have lake effect on going through Christmas Eve. I think we'll be reissued a winter weather advisory, and that might even go into Christmas Day itself. But but the worst conditions by far will be over on the west side of the state with even stronger winds coming off Lake Michigan. Lake enhancement with some very high snow totals over there. But some of those might bleed into our area just like they did around that lake effect round that came through over Silver Bells. Now, I am sorry to say I get a lot of questions about what if I'm traveling to Detroit or Chicago or up north. The whole region is experiencing this. No one is escaping it. Blizzard warnings in red go all the way up through Gaylord, Grayling, Traverse City, Mackinac, and the Sault Ste. Marie. The pink is a winter storm warning for Detroit, Chicago in that as well, and again, the whole region. So back toward Minneapolis, another blizzard warning, another blizzard warning across parts of the Dakotas, winter storm warnings for Kansas City and St. Louis. So we're talking multiple major airports here that is going to have a trickle effect to almost the entire United States, if not beyond. So lots and lots of delays coming our way, cancellations, roads being closed, things like that. This is a dangerous and life threatening winter storm coming our way. We'll have blowing snow with near zero visibility at times. So in the off chance that someone does go off the road, this is where it gets, you know, a little life threatening with wind chills as cold as minus 30. Stay in your vehicle. Do not get out in blinding snow and bitter cold like that. Over Overall, we're looking at our system rapidly strengthening over our area. The more black lines you see, the stronger that low pressure is. And there's a lot of black lines on this map and it keeps gaining more. Now that means a lot of wind as well. And then once the system snow leaves, we have the lake effect snow machine cranking because water temperatures are still in the lower 40s and we'll have temperatures sub zero in some cases going over them. That creates just explosive lake effect on top of everything else going on. And this is into Christmas Day evening so sunday night we could still have some lake effect bands going across the area so this is going to be a long long duration storm coming on through overall notice not a whole lot going until we get toward about 1 p.m for our thursday a couple rain and snow showers i'm not really concerned until about 4 or 5 p.m by five o'clock please be where you're going to be be hunkered down, be at home or with other family members because this is going to accumulate very, very rapidly. Now notice the little wind arrows here, how they start racing out of the northwest along 131 already by 5 p.m. That is the wall of cold air, if you will, and the dangerous cold coming in. So by 930 to Thursday evening, we're already experiencing the dangerous cold. This will be fluffier snow already by then blowing around, accumulating very, very quick going into Friday morning. Same thing. Through the day Friday, we're just going to be seeing snow, 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 maybe a little less down toward Hillsdale. Notice how it is definitely getting enhanced by Lake Michigan as it crosses into our area. So we will have some persistent bands. I think we'll have some locally very heavy snow totals coming through. But generally, broad brushing this, I'm just going to say about a foot. Maybe a little bit more for some, maybe a little bit less. And honestly, not to be too sarcastic or anything, but good luck measuring it. Winds will be gusting 50 to 55 miles per hour, so some areas will be grass. Other areas will have five or six foot snow drifts. But technically, yeah, we'll have about 8 to 12, 12 to 18 back on the west side of the state. This little red area, I think, is where a lot of the lake enhancement potential lies. So therefore, we're looking at about 15 plus inches there. Now, this area might go a little further north if the wind shift just right, maybe a little further south. Some models have it kind of all over the place, but there will be an area in our viewing area that will likely exceed about 15 inches of snow and again maybe a little bit more that's just through saturday if we get a band through christmas we'll add more to that snowfall total lots of snow either way but the biggest concern will be the cold and the wind so tomorrow not too bad but notice how we're going to go through the day with not bad winds but the winds like i said start to pick up pretty quickly look at this overnight into friday these are sustained wind speeds they turn more to that west direction which is favored for lake effect for us but look what happens through the day friday again these are sustained wind speeds could be over 35 miles per hour. So that is whiteout conditions, very, very dangerous, in addition to the bitter cold wind chills coming our way.
away. So we saw the sustained winds. The gusts on Friday could easily top 50 miles per hour. Some models honestly are going as high as 60, so we'll have to wait and see. But either way, it is going to be dangerously cold. So there's the wind chill. This is Thursday evening, so we're going a little bit forward here. But this is the wind chill. Notice by the time we get into Friday morning, we're already minus 25, maybe toward minus 30 to the south, minus 15 to 20 to the north, and it just gets worse as we go through the day Friday. Some areas will be near minus 30 down to the south, and that's why I said life-threatening cold coming our way. If you're stranded, do not get out of your vehicle. Stay in your vehicle, and it might be a while for help to come, but you do not want to be walking around blind and in cold like that. Trust me, it has happened before with some sorry consequences. So we're looking at system snow Thursday into Friday. Then we'll transition to more of a lake effect by the time we get into Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Whiteout conditions, especially Friday, and yes, even a little bit into Christmas Eve itself. Wind speeds technically slowly go down a little bit as we go throughout Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. The coldest wind chills will be Friday. Notice they do moderate a little bit, but they're still cold as we go into Saturday and Sunday. So a lot going on with this forecast, and yes, there are gonna be some potential power outages. Be smart with the generators, make sure they're outside. Don't let, let them run in the garage. That has also caused some unfortunate deaths from carbon monoxide. Any generator needs to be vented outdoors. So please make sure that's the case. So 5 p.m. start, Friday, no travel, period. You're going to regret it. I'm telling you right now. Into Christmas Eve, we might have some travel on the eastern side of the state. It's not going to be pretty. And even into Christmas Day, things might start getting back to normal depending on the lake effect bands, but it's not going to be perfect. Things won't be really normal again for us until we get into next week on Monday and Tuesday. So it is time to have a plan. It's time to implement that plan. And unfortunately, it is time to have an alternate plan for Christmas.